So to understand about the rate of growth, let's recall the interest compounding formula or the continuous compounding formula is as given. In general, R can be interpreted as the instantaneous rate of growth of the function v. Uh, and how come? It comes from the function of vt. So let's look first at the rate of change of vt over time. So here we see uh, the rate of change of vt. So we can write it as dv per dt is equal to a Let's write this as Ft, yeah, where Ft equals to R times T. So it's just F prime T, A, A, F, T equals to R, A, E, R, T. Since A, E, R, T is just V, so we can write this as R times V. We say this as rate of change. Let's look at the concept of the rate of growth. So rate of growth is just the rate of change in V expressed in relative percentage term or expressed as a ratio of the value of V itself. So we can write that rate of growth of V as um, stated here is just the rate of change in V, the rate of change in V. So we can write uh, dv per dt expressed in relative percentage or I said before expressed as ratio to the value of V itself. We know that dv per dt, we got r times v over v is just equal to r. By in general, in economic term, r is the instantaneous or r is the rate of growth. For example, we want to find the rate of growth y equals to 4 to the power of t. We know that the rate of growth is dy over dt divided by y itself because this is y as a function of t. To find the dy, at dy dt, the derivative, let's convert the function into ln. So both sides becomes ln. ln for t is just equal to t ln 4. Now the derivative dy dt. Again, we have to take the derivative of the both side. We do in two step, steps. So from the left side, we have d ln y because y is a function of, d, of t, then it's d ln y over dt. We have 1 over y d y per dt. So this is the first side. And the second side, we will have d t ln 4 divided by d t equals to, it's just, uh, this is u v, yeah? You have u accent v is um, ln 4, f accent u ln 4, you derive with respect to t is just 0. So plus 0, you have ln 4. Um, you equate part 1 and part 2, you have d uh, super 1 over y d y d t is equal to ln 4. Then you have d y d t is equal to y times ln 4. Now, the rate of growth, you just in insert this. To the rate of growth, growth, you have y ln 4 over y is just equal to 
len4. So this is the rate of growth of this function here.